going on. Uh, I'm driving home. I'm in Brownsville right now and uh, got this light on. Car light. So it's, it's dark out here right now. About 9 o'clock. Uh, on Monday I had a horrible day because the, um, the washer and dryer hookup that little valve that you hook up to, the you hook the washer and dryer up to, it I didn't connect it correctly, so when the water turned on, it basically flooded the front, um, the bottom of the house, um, was specifically the kitchen area, and so I had to pull up all of the, um, all the flooring that I put down, so that's a, that's a major setback, and I have this unit available to rent right now so I gotta hurry up and, and fix everything put the quarter round back on uh, it's horrible horrible so and then the next unit the unit next to that I had to pay to get a hot water heater put on and then the guy the plumber also helped me with the the valve for the wash and dryer hookup that cost about eight hundred and seventy dollars so not not too great also want to talk about, um, I went to Stanton and tried to get uh, some some land, 3.5 acres, from a lady named Catherine Wagner. And the Wagner family owns uh, hundreds and hundreds of acres in the Stanton area. Uh, but this is a little old 80 year old lady. It's another old, little old white lady. She said, I might sell that to you. Probably not, but I might. She said, you seem like a good boy. I said, what? What in the world? You know, this little eighty-year-old lady. I, I couldn't even say anything. I just said, "Thank you, ma'am," and just kept and kept it moving. So she said, "You know, I'm a grown man, thirty-seven years old." She said, "You seem like a good boy." Anyway, just had to tell that story. Those those couple of stories. So signing off. Bye.